You go on to Facebook and you see the likes and you see this validation and it's a tab and 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 now attention spans are shortening. You see young yeah. people who can't function outside of their phones. They have difficulty maintaining real relationships. Combine that with hardcore, unbelievably stimulating pornography. Yeah. And then the real life experience doesn't live up. <laughs> Question of the day before I move into the segment. What's your opinion on Porn, harmless or normal, corrosive, dangerous, and from all angles. I want to hear what you think, moral, legislative, and personally, what are your experiences with it? Have they been, do you consider them struggles? Let me know. This is a topic that uh, people have a lot of uh, differing opinions, a lot of heated opinions, because yeah. many are in heat. So the context here, mm. this is, um, it sort of be, started as a meme, this whole, uh, by the way, if you have children, they probably shouldn't be here for this segment. We're going to yeah. talk about this, frankly, and really try not to make a bunch of dick jokes. So <laughs> try real hard. Really. Get it? Uh, well, no, not hard. Really. We'll try it very uh, with great vigor. That's worse. Uh, no, nope. yeah. that's, that's uh, even worse. Strenuous. Diligence. Difficult. Diligence. Yes. We will do diligent. our due diligence because I get mine. So, <laughs> No Nut November is what it was called. It started out as kind of yes. a meme. That's and awesome. it was basically this idea that people weren't going to watch pornography or masturbate throughout the month of uh, November. So it started out as a joke. And crime went up by a thousand percent. But, <laughs> <laughs> but more and more young people yeah, have been rage. deciding, especially since they've been doing this, that, that porn is bad for them, that it doesn't yeah. work for them. They don't want to be watching porn. Some of them feel yeah. as though it's a real problem. Not yeah. necessarily everybody. So I'll get to my opinion in a second, but the media entertainment industrial complex, um, they've been trying to go on the offensive for those who don't know. And they've been yeah. trying to convince people for a long time, but more so recently that porn and masturbation is actually good for them, uh, even going so far as to tie it in as they always do with something that they want to support or they necessarily don't like. They just go, you know what? We're going to tie No Nut November to the far right. Clinical psychologist, Dr. David Lay. <laughs> has a theory about why these young men are so angry. They're not strangling their pepes. Across the alt-right movement, leaders are telling young men not to masturbate. Religious groups harangue the public about the dangers of porn on the body and on the mind, but the evidence just doesn't pan out. Common sense might say that men who watch a lot of porn might have trouble getting it up, but this research found precisely the opposite. Instead of inhibiting arousal, men who watched porn actually got more erections. And that result was maintained with as much as 25 hours of porn watching a week. Your sexually explicit material in order to get sexually interested, okay. in order to have that arousal. What do you mean you watch porn out of boredom? Okay, has anyone ever just been ridiculously bored and you're just like, so my, uh, that's the end. Just watch the porn, who cares? Be whatever you want to be. Well, hold on, how does porn allow you to be whatever you want to yeah, be? What it that? doesn't. What does that mean? If it I doesn't. can see it, if I just believe it. <laughs> it I doesn't. Porn. What is that? It doesn't help you at all. <laughs> and is he in the porn? Oh, oh please. Good Lord, I hope That's not. an effective please, PSA please against pornography. So, let's get, uh, Psychology Today, by the way, they've even been pushing it. Their advice Incredible. for developing, they, they actually say uh, porn is good for developing more sexual integrity because mm -hmm. it makes people less religious and more positive what? toward homosexuality. So let's be really clear. Wait. Psychology Today would sooner have you watch Japanese tentacle gangbang than read the book of Matthew. <laughs> now let me be clear on the outset. I disagree Small niche. <laughs> on a personal level. But uh, let's look at the facts as they relate to the ever-changing world of porn. Yeah. I think it's very important that we define what we're talking about here, too. Because yeah. this is where you'll see a lot of different opinions, and I think a lot of sort of boomers, older folks, are kind of out to lunch. We're not talking about a nudie magazine right, no. under someone's yeah. bed or buried out in the it's forest much, you know, that somebody worse. has to go out there with a box of tissues, you know, if, if the seasons permit. I have no idea. What uh, assuming about. that they're in the uh, northern hemisphere. The southern hemisphere doesn't exist because the earth is flat. Anyway. <laughs> I actually think it's a, I think it's a cube, but uh, okay. oh, a whole can of worms. Lots of flatness. So we need to address it. We're talking not about a magazine or even a video. We're talking about a tab and 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 a tab, tab, tab right. of, of pornography. Yeah. And, and that's very different. And we did a, a, an interview, uh, conducted an interview with Gary Wilson of Your Brain on Porn a long time ago. So let me be clear. Uh, porn is far more ubiquitous than in our parents or grandparents oh, era. Okay. Easily, it's become yeah. so pervasive now that studies show one in 10 porn users are under 10 years old. Wow. It's insane. Think about that for a second. When you take the top two porn sites together, they account with almost six billion monthly views. That's more than Twitter, Wikipedia, or Instagram. Wow. 
Yeah, so this is important because we need to acknowledge how many people are using it, how yeah. frequently they are using it, and the kind of, uh, of ramifications that it could have. Again, this is very different. Before we even knew about the idea of addiction to social media, I talked about uh, this with Gary Wilson. Um, now they've talked about, the guy who played by Andrew Garfield at Facebook mm -hmm. said, like, we didn't realize that we were effectively developing an addiction uh, yeah. platform yeah. for young kids. Well, you yeah, combine absolutely. that with the greatest dopamine releaser, without barring uh, drugs, that we know in the human body, and that's sex. So you combine the tab and a tab and a tab and the violation of expectations. When people are addicted yeah. to their phones, only you add bodily fluids. That's what we're dealing <laughs> Gosh, with right so now. Terrible. So it's a little bit different than what we're talking about, someone looking through you know, the Sears wishlist catalog, hoping for a yeah. nipple. By the way, I found one in 1998. Worth it. <laughs> That's why She-Hulk was a thing for you. She-Hulk was the a superhero card. card. Little, it did. Little superhero and card. when I looked at it, under my brother's bunk bed, I would get very comfortable. So uh, <laughs> considering mm, the prevalence, it so is important terrible. to look at the mounting evidence that shows there are definitely some negative psychological ramifications. And I, I, I want to talk about this negative. because a lot of people out there struggle with it and say, well, what, what can we do? And the truth is, people are far more ashamed, I think, out there now to discuss their struggles with porn than they are to just talk about or praise porn. Yeah, yeah. And we can't be flippant about it. If you have this many people, you, one in 10 are under 10 years old. It would be like any other public health concern. If you found yeah. out that, you know, one in 10 people who eat cheese, uh, I don't know, get SARS. You'd be like, well, hold on a second. We need to start looking at cheese. <laughs> I thought the carry gold at Trader Joe's was good because it was grass fed from New Zealand cows. Turns out. No. I was incorrect. Yes. Irish cows. I should get that right. Otherwise, it'll be a little Snopes Irish icon. cows in New Zealand? <laughs> really? On YouTube. <laughs> Three so, Pinocchios. Um, great resource, your brain on porn, uh, dot com. Uh, and first, let me address this on the outset. Yes, there are studies out there that uh, show apparent benefits to porn. That's what people can, yeah. they can make the argument. But surprise, surprise. They're based on subjective self-reporting. Mm. Oh. This is important. A lot of people go, well, how does the data come in differently that's pro-porn and anti-porn? It's like the healthcare statistics. They go, well, hold on a second. Yeah. How, how do you say that we have better healthcare in the United States and people in other countries don't think so? Well, if you look at the subjective healthcare rankings, and these are just globally ranked based on people's personal satisfaction with their healthcare, it rates us right between Slovenia and Cuba. Yeah. Then there was the UK <laughs> World Health Study. It was 11 oh. countries ranked. The United States was ranked 11th, the UK was ranked Good number Lord. one, despite us having huh. uh, higher survival of cancer rates. I think you're twice more as, as likely to die from <laughs> breast cancer. So subjective reporting is not an accurate measurement for the effects yeah, of pornography. Right. People like porn and people who watch porn and want to watch more porn, of course, are going to say, it's been great for me. Yeah, <laughs> It's exactly. working out. It's like making policy by polls like Bernie Sanders does. I don't know. What do people think? Well, let's do that. <laughs> I don't think there's a problem with heroin. <laughs> So apparently Bob Kethko, Bob yeah, big, big, big heroin. Uh, let's look oh. at some of the objective studies though, as it relates to, to porn. Um, much more likely to make people feel depressed. It desensitizes people. Uh, evidence points to the fact that it pushes them to more and more taboo content, often involving violence, combining violence and, and yeah. sexual uh, arousal. As a result, it can make sex less enjoyable in real life. It can lead to problems like low libido, lack of interest in sex, erectile dysfunction in men. Let me present you with a statistic. This isn't about self-reporting that I like naked legs. Ladies and dicks. that's not what we're saying. <laughs> Young men's erectile dysfunction mm. rates used to be around two or five percent. Yeah. After the creation of free streaming hardcore pornography, numbers are now between 14 to 35 percent. That's almost a thousand percent wow. increase. That's, significant. that's what we call statistically significant. Yes. Japan, it's gotten so bad, 36 percent of young men are not interested in having sex at all. I don't think it's porn on that one, though. Well, it's just kidding. No, it is. It is <laughs> pornography totally and kidding. also very weird stuff that happens in Japan. It's a weird, it's a weird place. But it compare that to the whole. <laughs> remember when we were growing up, the horny teen archetype. Even yeah, you don't have to go exactly. back that far. American Pie. Yeah. yeah. Compare that to 36 percent of young men in Japan. It's like, no, 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 no. I just put a d in a computer. <laughs> I have a sex robot. Sir, no, 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 no. What just, do you use? You're like, well, hold on a second. What about if you want to have? What if you want to have sex with a real lady in real life? No, 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 no. I just need a USB C. Yeah, <laughs> USB P. I don't actually. know what this is. Like you're turning a key. <laughs> Their porn apparently is a Prius. <laughs> just a tin USB C. Very, very horny. Yes, very horny. <laughs> Early exposure, by the way, since we're talking about one in ten young people, one in ten of yeah. porn users are under the age of ten. Early exposure can increase uh, young people's chances of acting violently towards others. Risky sexual behavior. This shouldn't come as a surprise. No. STDs. Okay. Yeah. So uh, objectively, porn can also, this is something people need to know, and I think a lot of people have experienced this. This is why I want to know what your subjective experiences have been. Uh, but objectively, uh, it can harm relationships. Divorce rates double yeah. when people are watching porn. 
when, when one spouse is watching porn, married couples have less sex, which it doesn't seem like we're treading well, new ground talking good. about this here, but a lot of people don't talk about it, as you see with no, Rolling Stone and uh, yeah. the Young Churches. Watch the porn! What's the matter? Well, what, what if what if it is something, particularly this sort of, this this almost uh, m- like meta porn that we have now with these tabs and hardcore pornography and highlight reels, yeah. what if it does have negative ramifications? Right? What if all of this data adds up and you go, hold on a second, how irresponsible is it to just say, just watch porn? And by the way, yes, I'm a hypocrite. Before you go, of course I've seen porn. Of course, right. I've, everyone in this room is a hypocrite. I want to be clear about that. We'll come back to that afterwards. By the way, please do hit the notification bell if you're subscribed, because uh, subscriptions don't really mean a whole lot. New video every day at uh, 8 o'clock Eastern, 9 o'clock Eastern, and of course, subscribe at Mug Club. That's the only way that we uh, can continue to make these videos, because uh, we've been demonetized for a long time. So. <laughs> I, I want long, to talk about this to go back to this time, idea. Yes. You know, there's something called uh, the vi- violation of expectations. Yeah. And I talked about this with Gary Wilson. He was talking about how this is why the internet is very addictive to a lot of people or social media, right? You want to search something. It could be, I don't know, uh, you're looking for a skillet. What's the best way to season a skillet? And you type in a search and you find more information than you could read in a lifetime about seasoning skillets. Yeah, right. and you go, oh my gosh, a tab and a tab and a tab. Or same thing, you want to see what your friends are up to. And you go onto Facebook and you see the likes and you see this validation and it's a tab and a tab and a tab and a tab and a tab. And now attention spans are shortening. You see young yeah. people who can't function outside of their phones. They have difficulty maintaining real relationships. Let's combine that and by the way this is this is admittedly a problem from people who've created these social media platforms combine that with hardcore unbelievably stimulating pornography it was always a concern before social media but it's very very different now because young yeah. people are creating a neural pathway to get to sexual pleasure and by the way before they actually have sex before they engage in any kind of consensual sex in a loving relationship they could have experienced this neural pathway and do- walk down this path thousands of times yeah. before ever actually having a real life experience. Yeah. And then the real life experience doesn't live up. How many people were addicted to newspapers or magazines? Yeah. Right? How many people, I just, I gotta, I gotta get my, I gotta get my Sunday paper. <laughs> It didn't happen, <laughs> right? It didn't happen. You weren't you weren't hiding from your wife in the bedroom in the dark with the funnies. <laughs> so we need to address what it is that we are talking about. We yeah. need to define it, and it is a yeah. very different animal right now. Pornography, and I think this comes this does come full circle. I'm obviously more libertarian. I think that people can do whatever they want to do personally with yeah. their own bodies in the privacy of their own home. But when we are talking about pornography. In the legislation, there have been many attempts to regulate the distribution of porn to minors. Right. So I do think this is important because you do need to see where people line up on both sides of the aisle. Uh, there, there are many laws, right, uh, against adults actively showing porn to minors. Right. But yeah. there, were, there have been many attempts to require actual age verification for porno sites. And again, yeah. everyone here probably knows it says, are you 21? Yes. What criminal yeah. mastermind could possibly fool that system? <laughs> it's so hard to break. It's like Difficult. entering your birthday. I, you know, I don't, need, I don't know if I'm admitting to a crime, but half the time if I'm just going to like a cigar website or something, I just put in any random birthday. Yeah, I know. 1987 yeah, because yeah. it's my birthday. I just go, I don't know, 5, 14, 87. I know I'm good. You don't think a 12-year-old can figure that out? <laughs> right. So anytime uh, there has been an actual attempt for real laws regarding verification to view online porn at a federal level, they've all been overturned yeah. in the courts. So think about this for a second. Again, this is why I just think it's irresponsible. Wherever you line up, it is irresponsible to tell people, just go watch porn. Who cares? Well, no one is advocating Stupid. that kids can get into R-rated movies by themselves. No. But anyone can just open up their phone, click Yep, 21, and then whatever of the most depraved hardcore porn you can imagine. And by the way, hardcore porn that none of us could have imagined when we were 16, 18 years old, pre-internet, is available to them. And if we talk about, you know, drag queen story time with kids and transitioning children, and people rightfully get upset about that because we want to protect the most vulnerable and innocent among us, then we do have to talk about what porn could potentially be doing to our kids. No one is saying that you should be able to sell porn to an eight-year-old. That's illegal. But for some reason, keeping it age appropriate as far as online content, it always gets knocked down. Remember when you were a kid, yeah. you walked through those cowboys swinging doors at Blockbuster. They couldn't grab you by the <laughs> collar fast enough and pull you out of it. Exactly. But now Forgot there's no one that. to do that. Yeah. And, I, I, and I want to address this, too. I think this is important, this idea of hypocrisy, because the left will often point to hypocrites on the right. Yeah. Uh, and they did this with Ben Shapiro when he talked about pornography. Yep, I'm a hypocrite. Everyone here is a hypocrite, but I think we need to recognize the difference between systemic hypocrisy and uh, hypocrisy in vice, 
right? You see the left, they often point to Republicans. They go, oh, look, he's a hypocrite. He's, he believes a, a, in, in moral Christian family values, but we found out that he was on, uh, what was that, what, Ashley Madison. Or we found out that he was uh, addicted to porn. Yeah. Or, you know, oh, or look, this guy, who are you, George W. Bush? Who are you to tell people that they shouldn't be abusing alcohol or drugs? You did coke one time. Yeah. We get you used yeah. to do drugs. Moral Usually that's yeah, why that's someone unique. is advocating against certain vices yes. because we understand that it's corrosive and these are inherent vice by its very nature means that it's tempting to everybody and it's inherent. And I don't think there's any uh, more inherent carnal desire than that to procreate. Yeah. Naked ladies look good. So want to be clear, reason, everyone yeah. is <laughs> everyone is a hypocrite on the right and on the left sure. But I do think that the left points to hypocrisy on the right more so as it deals with morality and vice and issues of conscience that we all struggle with. That's not the same as say Al Gore advocating for green climate policy, right? Advocating for yeah. carbon offsets and you not being able to drive an SUV, SUV, but flying around the world in a private jet and having right. three homes that use more power than exactly. you will use in two decades time. That's not the same as, hey, listen, I think pornography is really bad. Oh, look, there's a naked lady. Of course I want to watch it versus I think that you're killing the planet, but I'm going to fly around on a Learjet. Right. There's a difference, a difference in hypocrisy found in vice. Every single person at some point in their life is a hypocrite as it deals yeah. with these issues. That is not the same as people who are proactively hypocritical and they make a hypocritical decision beforehand out of convenience. Yeah. Uh, no one gets polled by the lure. You, no one's born, right, inherently. When we're born, as soon as we know that we're men, we're like, oh man, I really like naked ladies. No one's like, exactly. as soon as we know, kind of, kind as soon as sometimes. I think therefore I am, I need a private jet. <laughs> it's not the same thing. Doesn't and this happen. is something, too, everyone's going to point and laugh, right? We see this a lot with, with people who are here. I mean, people did it with Jordan Peterson, right? They said, Jordan Peterson wants to help people, but his wife was uh, dying of cancer, and he found himself uh, addicted to anti-anxiety drugs. Does anyone, not, does anyone not find that incredibly reasonable? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't mean it's a good thing. And by the way, he went out and sought help. Exactly. Which is in his book. Yeah. Which is what he tells you to do, exactly. He has always yes. talked about never being advice. above going for <laughs> get, getting help. Yeah. That is not the same as what we're talking about. This is people who are just pointing at the uh, those who enter the arena saying, ha ha, you, you, didn't make, you didn't make a perfect high jump. You missed your Fosbury flop when they sit in the stands and don't attempt to do it. Yeah, right. That's the difference between that versus banning high jumps. We're not talking about banning high jumps, but they, they do want to point out hypocrisy in ways that they are hypocritical as well. Because yeah, exactly. everyone on the left is just as hypocritical. Everyone who says porn is good, well, you can say they're not a hypocrite because they're just lying about it preemptively. Yeah, yeah. Let's allow for the possibility that a lot of you could probably casually dabble in porn and not have a problem with it. Right. There are probably lots of people, whether, if you don't think there's anything morally wrong with pornography, and I know that a lot of you don't, there are probably quite a few people out there who could occasionally uh, enjoy pornography and not see any negative manifestations as it relates to their life. But this is where, this is where you're gonna see uh, how upset people get by me just suggesting this. But if there are people out there who don't feel that way, people out there who do struggle with pornography, people, you know, it starts from No Nut November, people out there who say, you know what, uh, I watch porn and I don't want to, and they find it difficult, they find the pull hard to deal with, and uh, maybe it's verging on an addiction. You know what, there are a lot of resources out there. There's your yeah. brain on porn, uh, we'll have some links in the description. And I would like you to comment. I'd like this this place below to be a, I don't want to use the word safe space because now that's been ruined, but yeah, you know, it's funny, like triggered is an actual psychological term, like for yeah. someone who was in war it's a legit and they thing. hear fireworks. Yeah. Uh, but a safe space where people can talk about pornography today in the comments section, send me your tweets. What have your struggles been? And people who've overcome it, help people out there. Provide some resources right now and let some people other uh, some other people in on how they can find help. Now watch, you're going to see some people oh, claim that this, this right here is propaganda. All I'm saying is people out there who find themselves under the spell of pornography and want to break the chains, okay, we'll try and offer some help to you. To other people who don't have a problem with it, that's fine. Move on to the next comment section. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this clip. If you don't, these are the ABCs of me, baby. You can just click next video and put it in double speed. Of course, search doesn't necessarily work. Subscriptions, notifications don't necessarily work. Just bookmark this page, check in. We do a new video every single day, except for Sunday. And if you don't want this content to disappear, join Mug Club at lighterwithcredit.com slash mug club. It's only $69 if you're a student, veteran, or active military. And um, if you don't, you know, listen, I, I don't want to say that you're hellbound, but it, it doesn't look good for you.